In this video, we will discuss about a Python program that can copy data from all Excel files in a computer folder and paste that data into a single Excel worksheet and that too within a few seconds. When I say all Excel files in a computer folder, it can be hundreds or thousands of Excel workbooks. This video is divided into three parts. In the first part, I will show you the data we are working with. Second part is about installing Python and OpenPy Excel. Those who have Python and OpenPy Excel in their computer can skip to the third part, which is writing and executing the program. For explaining the program, I am using the scorecards of few engineering students, but the same program with nominal changes can be used for wide range of requirements. See this computer folder called scorecard. There are more than 130 Excel workbooks in this folder. To be precise, 139 Excel workbooks with marks of that many engineering students. Let me open one of these workbooks, CE591. This is the scorecard of a candidate called Jobin John, whose roll number is CE591. And the marks scored by Jobin for his six exams are listed here. We'll close this workbook. Let me open one more, CE683. These are the marks scored by Mecha, whose roll number is CE683. Now about our requirement. We need to extract the name, roll number and marks scored by the candidate from all these 139 Excel workbooks into a single worksheet. Before writing the Python program for this task, let me show you how much time it will take if we do this task manually. First we have to open a scorecard. Copy the name and roll number of the candidate. Paste the copied data into the master sheet. Back to the scorecard. Copy the scores. Paste the scores in the master sheet. After that, we have to close the current scorecard. Open the next one and repeat the process. Copying data from an Excel worksheet and pasting it into the master sheet will take at least 30 seconds. That means for extracting data from all these 139 files and pasting it into a single worksheet, we need more than one hour of manual labor. Now let's see how to create a Python program that can complete this task within a few seconds. For writing the code, we need Python and OpenPy Excel in the computer. To install Python, open the web browser. Google for download Python. Download Python. From here, you can download the latest version of Python. But if you are looking for a specific version, scroll down. See different versions of Python are listed here. Download Python. Click on the setup file to start installation. Install now. Setup was successful means installation complete. In the search bar of Windows, type in Python. Open Python idle. Now we have Python in our computer. Next we need the library called OpenPy Excel. For installing this package, activate the command prompt of Windows. For that, in the search bar of Windows, type in CMD. To install OpenPy Excel, type in pip install OpenPy Excel. Enter. And now we have OpenPy Excel. To get out of the command prompt, type in exit, enter. Now that we have Python and OpenPy Excel in our computer, let's write the program for reading Excel files. In the Windows search bar, type in Python, OpenPython idle. To open the file editor of Python idle, file, new file. Let's save this file before writing the code. For that, file, 
save. We'll save this file in the desktop of the computer. We'll name the file as read from Excel files. Save. Now the first line of the code, import OS. OS is a Python module which will help us to interact with the operating system of the computer. Next line, import OpenPy Excel. OpenPy Excel is a third party Python library which will help us to read and edit Excel files. Folder equal, apostrophe. Here we have to specify the path of the directory containing the Excel files to read. This is the folder containing the scorecards. To copy the folder path, click on the address bar, right click, copy, paste the copied path here, apostrophe, output file equal. The data copied from 139 Excel workbooks will be written into a single Excel workbook. Specify a name for that file and the path of the folder where you want that file to be saved. I will be keeping that file in the same folder for that. Apostrophe, right click, paste, backslash, type in the file name. Apostrophe. Here I have used the file name candidate scores, but you can use whatever name you want. These three lines are to create a new workbook and to rename the active worksheet of that workbook as candidate data. Next we have to specify the cells from which we need to extract data. Name of the candidate is in the cell C2. Roll number is in the cell C3. Scores are in the cells from D7 to D12. To extract data from these cells, cells equal, open square bracket, apostrophe, address of the first cell containing data, C2, apostrophe, comma, space, apostrophe, Address of the second cell containing data, C3, apostrophe, comma, space. Now the address of the cells containing scores, apostrophe, D7, apostrophe, comma, space. Closing square bracket. Let me close this workbook. Now the instructions to open all these excel files one by one and copy data from those workbooks. A for loop to execute these instructions in each excel workbook in the folder specified here. An if statement that will make sure that data is extracted only from excel files. This statement will create a file path using the folder path and file name specified here. That file is then saved into a variable called workbook. Data from the specified cells of this workbook are then saved into a variable called values. These values are then written into the output sheet. That is the sheet called candidate data. And these statements under this for loop will be executed for each and every file in the specified folder. So after 139 iterations, the output workbook will be having data from all these workbooks. Now to save this workbook in the name candidate scores, now we have the program for reading Excel files. To execute the program, run run module ok see new excel workbook called candidate scores is created let me open this workbook 
the name roll number and scores of all those 139 candidates are copied into this excel workbook and that too within a few seconds now let's cross check this data ce587 Candidate name is Amal PT. Roll number CE587 and the scores 98, 79, 87, 66, 40, 45. Candidate's name is Silpa. Roll number is CE645. And the scores are 52, 58, 53, 82, 55, 67. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this program can be easily modified for your requirements. Replace this folder path with that of the directory containing your Excel files. And specify the address of the cells from which data needs to be extracted. So we have seen how to read data from multiple excel files. The next video is about a python program for editing multiple excel files. Until then, take care, thank you for watching and wish you a great day.